Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so just left the lounge here at Denpasar Airport. It's called something else, but I can't pronounce it. So it's the airport at Denpasar in Bali. Uh, on my way to my flight, so I'm flying KLM, which most of you will know that KLM is a Dutch airline. So why does KLM fly to Bali and why am I flying them? Well, it's pretty easy. So there are things that are called Fifth Freedom Flights. Fifth Freedom Flights are where an airline will fly between two destinations, neither of which are in its home country. So KLM flying between Singapore and then Pasar and Bali, it, neither of those are in the Netherlands. So really the reason people do that, the reason airlines do it, is so they can utilize their aircraft better. The reason you want to do a Fifth Freedom flight like that is if you fly on like Garuda Indonesia or Air Asia or Scoot, any of the low-cost carriers, uh, Garuda's not, it's a full service carrier. But those are on 737, those are on narrow body aircraft, while the KLM flight is on a 777. That's international configured uh, jet. So it works out really nice for me because, you know, I booked business class round trip. It was cheap, it was $400 US, uh, which is really, really cheap. So I went ahead and booked business class. It's an internationally configured business class. So it's actually a really nice seat. The food is decent. And with KLM, you get one of these little porcelain houses that they give out. It's just one of their traditions. So put all that together. That is why I'm catching a late flight back to Singapore on a KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. So while I was explaining that to you, I walked past my gates. So I have to backtrack just a little bit. Okay, so business class. Here's what we're looking at. So I share like seating areas in the US, but in flight entertainment. The little ottoman, so when you want to go to sleep, you have uh, power, the USB and universal outlet. And then we have this little cubby hole here. It's great for like your passport and your documents during the flight. Three windows to myself, although this is a night flight, so it doesn't really matter. And then... It's not a bad seat. It's comfortable. I mean, this is only a two-hour flight, so it doesn't really matter anyway. But uh, still, it's excellent. And... Uh, a view of the engine. made it back to Singapore. I think I snored kind of loudly on that flight. Sorry to the lady sitting next to me. Um, yeah, so that wraps up an amazing weekend in Bali. So uh, stay tuned because you never know where I'm going to travel to next. Talk to you next time.